Anytime anybody asks me, what do you do for a living? And I say, oh, I, I'm a hand letter. I always get a confused expression, like, well, well but what do you do? <laughs> and it's, I always have to explain it because people don't realize that they see hand lettering every single day of their lives. You go to the store, you see packaging, you see signs on the walls, that's all hand lettering. It's just that people attribute it to graphic design or illustration or something else. And so they never realize that it does, that's an actual niche profession that people do. I'll be shading a lot, so there'll be a lot of uh, highlights and shadows, and that's gonna be more layering. I'm gonna be doing it with pastels instead of chalk. Basically what I do is I draw letters for a living. My background is in fine arts. I used to do figure drawing and oil painting when I was younger. And then while I was in college, I found out that there's this thing called hand lettering, and it kind of combined my two passions, drawing and typography in one. And it just all of a sudden made sense to me, and I really wanted to get into that. I worked in magazines for about 10 years and I slowly tried to use hand lettering in my job but it wasn't exactly what I wanted to do and when I started seeing more and more letters post their work online and have actual work with clients I realized oh wow I could, I could do this this is something that's an actual job eventually I left my job and I started my business about three years ago and so now I just draw letters as, a, as my business. <laughs> you can just draw with your hands, with pencils and pens, markers. You can you know, do a digital hand lettering on your iPad. I do a lot of chalk work and murals, which you know use paint on your walls. And then also I do tactile lettering, which is basically laying out words and letters out of objects and food. From book covers, magazine covers, greeting cards. You can do chalk signs for restaurants and cafes. You can do murals. You can do anything that involves type, but you make it custom, you make it more unique, you add illustration into it. For instance, one of my client projects was Tillamook, which is a cheddar company. They hired me to design a phrase out of cheese. So they just sent me like four pounds of cheese and I had to figure out a way to write a cute phrase with it and I think it was something like cheddar makes it better. So a lot of artists are now getting hired by companies to kind of just promote their their companies by creating something beautiful. And sometimes they don't even care what it is, they just send you things and say, here, create something nice for us. It's been definitely hard as the pandemic started because a lot of the work that I do is for restaurants and for businesses that closed down as the shutdown happened. And I think it was a problem for many hand letters and we had to kind of pivot our businesses to do more digital products and open up shops. I opened up my own shop on Etsy and I started selling things more. I launched my own Skillshare class to teach people how to do tactile lettering. And it was just like a new way for us to learn how to run our businesses without having to rely on our clients so much. And I think it's great for people to know that hand lettering is such a great way to market their businesses. It's a unique way to help them stand out in a world of, you know, type and graphic design.